This episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. Step up your game with Liquid IV's Hydration Multiplier. Just one stick of Liquid IV powder hydrates you two times faster than water alone, so you can finish that ultra dance marathon in your living room. Because real life is extreme enough. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating. Buy a stick in store or at liquidiv.com with the code podcast for 20% off your order. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for June 28th. 2023. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. Well, it seems Pink is going to win the award for the strangest things gifted to her from the crowd. Over the weekend at a concert in London while on her summer carnival tour, Pink received a bag of cremated ashes that were hurled on the stage in the middle of her performance. Pink asked, this is your mom. She said from the crowd, I don't know how to feel about this. She walked forward and carefully placed the bag back on the stage, but she didn't seem phased. Two shows later, Pink received a wheel of cheese from someone in the crowd. Wolfgang Van Halen's getting ready to release Mammoth 2, the sophomore effort from his band Mammoth WVH. The album's coming out August 4th via BMG. He just released the lyric video for the third single from the upcoming album, a song called Take a Bow. The nearly seven-minute track is said to be the last song that they finished for the album. Wolfgang Van Halen saying, quote, It's officially the longest song I've released to date, and I feel the guitar solo is really special. I played the solo on the original Frankenstein guitar and through Dad's original Marshall head and one of the original cabinets. It's straight up what he used on the earliest Van Halen records. It makes me happy to capture some of Dad's history on this new song forever. Frank Zappa's estate has released material from the late composer, guitarist, and singer's vault. The new album, Funky Nothingness, is coming out on Friday. The album, culled from the recordings made in 1970 with bassist Max Bennett, drummer Ainsley Dunbar, and singer and violinist Don Sugarcane Harris. Multi-instrumentalist Ian Underwood is also featured on the recording. The three-disc set centers around the album originally envisioned as the sequel to 1969's Hot Rats. In a new interview, Slipknot frontman Corey Taylor is talking about his upcoming solo album, CMF2, saying this album has got everything. I mean, it doesn't sound like anything else, which apparently is contagious in this industry. It's not produced like everything else. It feels alive, and the songs are incredible. The production, the performances, I mean, this album chews up the first record and spits it out. It's probably one of the best things I've ever done. I'm really proud of it. I'm proud of the work that me and producer Jay Rustin did, and people are going to, well, even if it's a slow burner out of the gate, people are going to remember this album. CMF2 gets released on September 15th, and Greta Van Fleet have released a new song from their upcoming album. The song, The Falling Sky, is the next song from the upcoming album, Starcatcher. In addition to the official audio, Greta Van Fleet have shared a live performance video for the song, which was filmed at their Sacramento show at the Dreams in Gold tour back in March. The documentary about the life and time of Ronnie James Dio called Dio Dreamers Never Die has an official release date on DVD and Blu-ray. Set to be released on September 29th, the documentary spanning his life and career will be released worldwide. The deluxe edition of the documentary also includes a selection of branded Dio merch, including trading cards, a lapel pin, guitar picks, And every version of the documentary on DVD and Blu-ray will also include an additional 20 minutes of footage featuring deleted and extended scenes. British actor Julian Sands has been confirmed dead after going missing back in January while on a hike in California. His remains were reportedly discovered by hikers near Mount Bald on Saturday, June 24th, before being handed over to the California authorities. The San Bernardino Sheriff's Department had a statement saying, quote, that the remains positively identified as 65-year-old Julian Sands. The manner of his death is still under investigation, pending further test results. 
Billy Gibbons revealed that the next ZZ Top album is going to feature the late bassist Dusty Hill and his replacement Elwood Francis trading licks on several songs. The follow-up to 2012's La Futura was already being recorded when Hill passed away in July of 2021. In a new interview with Classic Rock, Billy Gibbons predicted that the new record could arrive this year, although he previously had said that he expected the release date to be in 2021 or 2022. Billy Gibbons admitted that it was challenging to return to the stage just days after Dusty Hill's death with Francis, the band's longtime bass tech, saying, quote, in a trio, it's a big challenge. Everything has to be working at 110 percent. But Elwood was ready. He's been part of it for so long. Dusty Hill said the show must go on. And that was his wish. And we granted it. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 160 featuring Marty O'Brien from Daughtry is available now.